Hey dancers, Miss Lauren here, and this is our last pre-recorded class of the whole year. Um, first of all, before we get started, I just wanted to say how proud of you I am for all of your work, not just during this time of these pre-recorded classes, but also before, starting in September the whole year, and also halfway through the year when Vera and Etta joined us. Um, it's been a really, really fantastic year, and I've had so much fun teaching you guys, all of you, and I'm so proud of all the things that you have learned in the last year, and I can't wait to teach you more again in the fall, whenever we can be back together again. So, yay! So this class is going to be like a celebration of our whole, whole time together. Um, yeah, and we're going to have some fun. So uh, we're going to do we're gonna do a ballet bar. Um, and then I have, uh, I have a couple little games for us planned to do after our bar. So let's get to it. Here we go. Time for some plies. All right. Feet are in first position. Five, six, seven, eight. Different arm today. Arm is going to go across. Demi plie, stretch. Demi plie, stretch. Then you grand plie, regular arm. Five, six, up, seven. So that demi plie, stretch on eight. Quarter up forward. One, two, three. Four up, five, six, time do two seconds. We know this pattern. Demi, stretch, demi, stretch, grand plie, six, seven, eight, into the bar. One, two, three, four up, five, six, time do two. Hmm, let's do fourth position today. Arm across, demi plie, stretch, demi plie, stretch. Then instead of a grand plie, let's elevate. Five, six, seven, lower, eight. We pour our bra back. One, two, Three, four, up, five, six, time, do two, fifth position. Demi plie stretch, demi plie stretch, grand, six, seven, eight. This time we do a little susu balance. One, two, three, four, and then we turn around right away and lower in first to the second side, yeah? Two demis and a grand plie, we pour bra forward in first. Two demis with your arm coming across, Grand plie, porte bras into the bar. We tendu and round de jambe to fourth position, yeah? It's like my fifth, but my foot is a little bit more spread out, so there's one foot length in between your two feet. Same thing, demi plie stretch, demi plie stretch, not the same thing, you elevate. Five, six, seven, eight, then we do our porte bras back. One, two, three, four, up five, six, time to fifth, demi stretch, demi stretch, ground six, seven, eight, and we relevate a little susu balance, and then turn back around and finish. So we're gonna do both sides, right away. All right, my dancers, are you ready to go? Let's dance. Here we go. Seven and eight. We go. Demi plie, stretch. Demi plie, stretch. Grand plie, five, six. Show demi on seven. Stretch, eight. Point up forward. Stay down. The band number is five. Five, six, seven, Watch with your hand. Three, four, round plie. Five, six, up, seven, stretch, eight, into the bar. One, two, three, four, come up. Five, six, run, on the fourth position. We go. Demi. Demi. Elevate, straight leg, squeeze up. And lower down, quarter bra back.
our dancers. Good, good, good. Lovely. All right, let's do our tondu. Nice. Okay, here we go. Be in first position. We go five, six, seven, arm to fifth. Demi point, full point, demi point, close to the side. Demi point, full point, demi point, close to the back. Demi point, full point, demi point, close. We go plie. Relevé. Right away. Whoa. Okay. Try again, Miss Lauren. See if right away you can take your arm off the bar. Five, six, lower, seven, eight, then to the back. Demi point, full point, demi point, and close to the side. Demi point, full point, demi point, and close to the front. Demi point, full point, demi point, and close. We go plie, relevé. This time, we go su su turn around, lower first. Here we are, right away on the second side, to the front. Demi point, full point. Demi point and close to the side. Demi point, full point, demi point, and close to the back. Demi point, full point, demi point, and close. Here it goes right away. Plie relevé with your hands off the bar. Squeeze down. Demi point, full point, demi point, and close to the side. Make sure it's a little bit in front of you. Demi point, full point, demi point, and close to the front. Demi point, full point, demi point, and close. This time we go plie. Relevé, su su, turn around and finish. Yeah, we're working on our demi point, so that's where you have your heel lifted, so your foot is pointed, but your toes are still flexed because they're in demi. Yeah, we really want to try and have high, high, high heels there before we go to our point. We're not just dropping our foot down. We're trying to keep our heel up oh, and just lower our toes. If you do it right. It should be really, really hard. It's still hard for me, and I've been doing it for 20 years. So it's really hard work. It's good to make your feet nice and strong. You got it? Let's try it together. I'll do it with you. Here we go. Seven and eight. To the front. Demi point. Full point. Demi point. And close. To the side. Demi point. Full point. Demi point. And close. Beautiful. To the back. Show those demi points. Good. Ready for the relevant? Here it comes. Plie relevant. Hold. And squeeze your heels down to the back. Demi point. Full point. Demi point. And close to the side. Show a nice round arm in second. Good. Arm in fifth. Head looking up at your hand. Good. Plie relevant. Suit it into the second side. First. Here we go on the left. Demi, full, demi, and close. Head looks straight. Demi, full. Remember to make sure that your thumbs are hiding. Arabs, reach your fingers far in front of you. Good. Ready? Play around it. Up. Beautiful. Squeeze those heels down to the floor. Reverse. Demi, full. Tandu from fifth. All right. Okay, okay. We're going to do a little brain combo. We haven't really done that many brain combos yet this year, but I'm going to work on this one with you guys today because I think it's a little bit fun challenge for the last class, yeah? So this, this um, Tandu combination is all going to be Tandus, but the tricky part is going to be memorizing the pattern. So the pattern goes like this. Six, seven, eight. Your arm stays in second the whole time. You go. Tandu front, tandu side, tandu back, and hold. Tandu back, tandu side, tandu front, and hold. Tandu front, tandu side, tandu back, and hold. This one is different. We're going to go tandu first, fifth, first, fifth. Then you do the whole thing starting from the back. It's three tandus. Back, side, front, just hold. Then you go front, side, back, just hold. Then again, back, side, front, 
and hold. Tricky part, you go first position, fifth position, first position, fifth position. You're back to the beginning. Yeah? When you do the first and fifth, you're crossed with, so say that I have this foot in the front, it goes to first, and then it closes opposite of where it just was. You know how when we do tangents to the side, we normally change every single one? Well, this time, because we have the first position in between, we still have to change. So I go to first, then I change it and put it where it was before. I go to first, then I change it again. Does that make sense? I'll show one more time. It goes front, side, back, hold. Back, side, front, hold. Front, side, back. Here it comes. First and fifth. First and fifth. You can do the same thing starting from the back. Are you ready? I'll do it with you so you can watch me the whole time. Okay, here we go. Little brain combo. Feet in fifth position. Ready? Six, seven, tricky. I think brain combos are fun. They're like a, an extra little challenge that I like. Let's try the other side. Here we go. Degages, and we're gonna, you guys, we're gonna, we're gonna do that same brain pattern because you already just worked on it, so you already know it in your head. We're gonna do it a little bit slower though, so it's a little easier. We go six, seven, eight, slow. Degage front, degage side, degage back. You hold from the back. Degage back, degage side. Degage front, you hold. Third time goes. Degage front, degage side, degage back and hold. Then you go. Degage first, degage fifth, degage first, degage fifth. It's the same thing and it's even slower, so you totally have it. But we gotta make sure that because we're doing degages now, we're really pushing our toes into the floor, and that's what makes our toe come off the ground for our degages. Hold. Then you go again. Degage front, degage side, degage back, and hold. It'll be slower than this. Degage back, degage side, degage front, and hold. You go. Degage first, degage fifth, degage first, degage fifth. This time, let's um let's balance on flat 
Let's go coup de pied de vent. So we're finding just our pinky toe touching our ankle here, and we're balancing coup de pied de vent. Once you have your leg up or your, your, your pinky toe connected, you can take your other hand off the bar and try and balance. Yeah, and then we'll finish and stand tall. You do your dégagés front, side, back, back, side, front, front, side, back. Then the pattern goes first, fifth, first, fifth. Then you reverse it. It's a pattern, but we're doing dégagés now. Here we go, friends. Feet in fit. Here we go. Dégagé front. Close. Side. Close. Back. Close and hold from the back. Dégagé. 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 And hold. You go. Push your toes into the ground. Push your toes down. Push your toes down. Nice. And hold. Here comes the chain. Here we go. Dégagé. was pretty short, I guess. Let's do the other side. Here we go. Dégagés right in the middle. So now without the bar for a second, and we're going to put our hands on our hips. You know the pattern, my friends. We do eight with the right, eight with the left, four with the right, four with the left, two, two, one, 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 one. You know the drill. Today, let's try actually with our hands on our shoulders. Yeah, this really helps you think about your um, back muscles engaging and helping to make you stand tall. Yeah, if we're really, really relaxed in our upper body, it's going to be so hard to have that leg moving so fast. You have to use your tummy muscles helping you and your arms being nice and stable and strong so that you can do lots of fast dégagés without your whole body turning into a bowl of jello. Even though jello is delicious and I wish I had some right now, maybe after ballet class. Yeah, eights, fours, twos, and ones. It's gonna be kind of quick. Get ready. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep pushing those toes down into the floor. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Make sure that your toe is coming a little bit in front of you so that you stay turned out with your legs. It's not straight to the side. Beautiful. Keep squeezing your tummy. One, two, one, two. Here we go. One, one, one. Let's releve now. Ready? Plie. Releve. So you can do that off the bar. Woo. Good. Tummy muscles squeezing in. Head floating up to the side. Beautiful, open your arms, and finish, yeah, nice dancers, 
Beautiful. All right, let's run a jam. All right, because it's our last class, let's do an oldie but a goodie. We did this combination for so long. I think, wow, it must have been in like, I think January we did this combination a lot. This one is more fun if you sing along with me. So the combination goes like this, seven and eight. We're doing rond de jambes, and the first direction we go is en dehors. So we're gonna say en dehors out loud. It goes en dehors. On day or on day or on day or, and then we brush our legs, brush, tondi, and hold. See, it's more fun when you say it. Then we do our ranajams on day down, which is the other direction where we start from the back first. It goes on day down, on day down, on day down, on day down, brush, tondi. And hold. And then we do it again. The first direction is on de or. The second direction is on de dun. We do four. It goes on de or, on de or, on de or, on de or. When you brush, you want to think of this little part in the front of your ankle. There's a string attached to it that's being lifted up. Brush. Tandu and hold, then you reverse it. On de dun, on de dun, on de dun, on de dun, brush. Tandu. The very last time we have to cheat and go front because we're stuck in the back and we don't want to finish this, so we gotta finish with this foot in the front because that's how we started, yeah? So at the very end, we'll do a brush front and then let's slide up our foot and let's balance in reti ray this time, but with no releve, so we're flat footed and we're trying to balance and come down, yeah? I'm serious, if you sing it with me, one, it'll be more fun, and two, I bet that you'll have the right rhythm of your feet. So it goes on day or, on day or, on day or, on day or, brush, tendu, and hold. Remember when we used to do this combination in class, you guys were getting so good at singing it. And when you sing it, then you really know it. Let's try it together. Here we go, dancers. Other side, here we go. Left foot in the front. Right hand on the bar. We go. On day or, on day or, on day or, on day or. Brush. Find that little ankle bone. Imagine the string attached to it. Tandy. Reverse. On day dun, on day dun, on day. Um, 
fresh. On Beautiful. One more time. Nice round arms. On Alright, let's do a little for Ruppe. I feel like let's this is nice. Let's just do all of the like the old classic combos that we used to do. So let's do facing the bar, because we've done this one quite a bit. I think it's lots of fun. Alright, make sure you can see me. So we have our right foot in the front. We pick it up. Seven, eight. We go frappe front. Close, front, close, front, close, and hold. So that was three frappes to this side. Back, side, front, side, back, and hold. Now we go to the back. Frappe, and close. Frappe, and close. Frappe, and close. You hold. Now we go. You put it down. A little scooch. Pick up your other foot. When I'm saying close, what I mean is come back to the flex. Yeah, so you can think of it as flex or close, whatever helps you think about it. I've been saying the word close, though. Three front face front. One, close, two, close, three, close, and hold. To the side. One, close back, two, close front, three, close back, and hold. To the back, you go strike the floor, strike the floor, strike the floor, and hold. Now you go, you put it down. A little scooch. Pick up your other foot and finish. Yeah. It's really, that, that combo is really, really fun just because of the song. Put it down. A little scooch. Pick up your other foot. Let's see how fast it is. Front, bang, close. Front, bang, close. It's perfect. Medium speed. Not so bad. All right, here we go. Put your right foot in the front and face your bar. Two hands on the bar. Flex your foot. Front, bang, front. Okay, last combo. You know this one. We've been doing this one for so long. We're like experts at it by now. We go six, seven, eight. You double pay front. One, two, out, three, close, four, then two, grand mas. To the side, you go out. One, two, out, three, close, four, two, grand mas. To the back, remember your arm always goes down before it goes out and close, two, Grand back mass, then almost the same to the side. One, two, out, three, close, four. You know what happens, friends. Plie, soup, soup, and you turn around. Miss Lauren has to cheat. Come down. You ready for the other side? We're always coming up through our reti ray. So our arm goes down as you come up through the reti ray, and then you go out to your position. Then two grand back mass. We're so good at this one. I bet that I could wake you up in the middle of the night and be like, hey, what's that one combo? And you would know it. You guys are pros at this one. All right, let's see. Is this our speed? Yep, it sure is. Are you ready? Last thing. Oh, my friends, this is our last combination at the bar together. 
Let's make it a really, really good one. Here we go, baby. We go one, two, out, three, close four. Run, bottom up, run, bottom up to the side. One, two, out, three, close four. Run, bottom up, close. Run, bottom up, close to the back. Ballet bar, good job. All right, dancers, you did it. You finished your last ballet bar of the year. Woohoo! That's awesome. Um, okay, so to do something a little bit special today for the center, we're gonna um instead of instead of doing center combinations, we're gonna do some ballet trivia today. So go and get a piece of paper and something to write with. Pen, marker, pencil, whatever you like. Go ahead, go right now. I'll wait for a second. Go and get something to write with. I have some trivia questions for us. Go, go get something. Go do it. You can also pause this video if you need more time. Okay, I wanna pretend that you came back now. You got your paper and stuff to write with? Mm, awesome, okay. You're gonna number it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's seven questions. So go ahead and write all seven, write one through seven like this, you know, in a column, yeah? Okay, great, so um, I'm gonna ask you all the questions and at the end we'll calculate your score based on that. All right, so question number one, we'll start off pretty easy and then get a little bit harder. Question number one, what language is ballet in? What language is ballet in? All of the words that we say in ballet class, what language are they in? Did you write your answer next to number one? Awesome, okay. I'll give you all the answers at the end. Number two, can you write down the two different kinds of plie that we do at the bar? Not what position your feet are in, but there's two kinds of plie. What are the names of the two kinds of plie that we do? Did you get it? Two kinds of plie. Okay, you can always pause the video if you need more time to write. Question number three. How many positions of the feet are there in ballet? We know we stand in first position a lot. That's just the first one. There's a lot of them. Do you know how many positions of the feet there are in ballet? How many total? All right. Next question. This is number four. I want you to write down the name of two different ballets any ballet story that you know, but write down two different names of ballets. We've talked about a couple in our classes together, right? Name two ballets, two ballets. Cool. Okay, this next question, there's a, a visual component, so I'll show you. Okay, if I'm standing in first, if I tend you forward, that's called tendu devant, which means tendu front. If I tendu backwards, that is tendu derriere, which means tendu back. If I go to the side, we call this one tendu a la seconde. It doesn't mean to the side. Do you know what it does mean? This is a trickier question. This is tendu devant, which means tendu front. This is tendu derriere, which means tendu back. And this is a tendu a la seconde. It doesn't mean tendu side. What does a la seconde mean? 
I really like this question because there's a there's a, a pretty obvious answer to it once you know what second means. This is a la second. Yeah, so what do you think a la second means in English? All right. You got your answer? Okay. Um, all right, next question. This one is tricky. I mean, we haven't talked that much about this. This one might be a little bit hard. So even though all the ballet words that we know are, oh man, I can't tell you the answer because it'll give you the answer to number one. Okay, well, whatever, whatever, your answer for number one, the language, which I think you probably know, the language that all of our ballet words are in, even though ballet terminology and ballet as we know it today came from that language in that country, it actually really started someplace else. Do you know where ballet very, 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 at the very beginning first originated what country? It's not the same answer as number one. It's actually something different. Let's, yeah, see, they're getting tricky or not. Hard questions, right? Hard, hard questions. Okay, and the last one. This one's a medium question. There's a dance step in ballet that when you translate it to English, it means step of the cat. Do you know how to say it in French? The translation in English is step of the cat. And I'll give you a hint. It's a kind of jump that we do, step of the cat. How do you say it in French? And then bonus points if you even know how to do that step. Yeah? All right, enjoy telling your answers? Yay, okay, let's review. Number one, what language is ballet in? It's, drum roll, French. All the words in ballet, they're all French. Words. I don't know any, any conversational French, but I do know plié and tendu and dégagé, and those are all French words. All right, good, French. Number two, question number two. Name, oh, so how about if you got that one right, put a little check mark next to it so you get a point for it. Okay, and then question number two. What are the two kinds of plié that we do? We do demi-plié and grand plié. Demi-plié means half and grand means big. So we do small plies and we do bigger plies, yeah? Demi and grand. Okay, so since there are two answers for that one, give yourself a check mark if you wrote demi and give yourself another check mark if you wrote grand, yeah? So one check mark for each one that you got correct. Question number three, how many positions of the feet are there in ballet? Do you know? Six, six positions. Ooh, let's review them. Do with me. First position, second position, third position with your heel right in the middle of your other feet, fourth position, let me back up so you can see this is fourth with a little bit of space, and fifth, and what's the last one? Last one is feet all the way together, sixth. We usually don't do this one that much now, that's more for like beginner dancers to do. Again, so six positions total of the feet. If you got that one correct, put a little check mark next to it. All right, name two ballets. This is a little bit tricky because I'm not with you, so and there's more, there's a ton of answers, right? So um, you might have to look up your answers on the internet to make sure that they were correct, but I'll name some classic ones you might know. You might have heard of Swan Lake, you might have heard of Giselle, you might have heard of The Nutcracker, or of Romeo and Juliet, or of Les Sylphides, or of Sleeping Beauty. There's lots of ballets, so many of them. I'm not naming nearly, nearly any of them. So. Go ahead and look up your answers if you're not sure if they're real ballets or not. And then give yourself one check mark for each ballet that you wrote down. So you could either get one or two points. All right, ooh, this is my favorite question. Ooh, this is Tendu Devant, means Tendu Front. This is Tendu Derriere, means Tendu Back. This is Tendu A La Seconde, it doesn't mean to the side. Do you know what it means? A La Seconde means to the second. To the second. Why? Well, if I lower my heel, what position are my feet in? Second position, yeah? So when we tell you a la seconde, we're going to the second, like to the second position. I love that one, that's a, that's a fun one. So tendu a la, or a la seconde means to the second. That was a tricky one. So give yourself a, definitely a big check mark if you got that one right. All right, um, even though ballet, okay, this was the one that I couldn't, I couldn't really read the question fully because it would have given you the answer for the first one. So even though ballet terminology and ballet as we know it today is in French, 
ballet actually originated where? Do you know? Italy. Italy. So it's part of the Italian Renaissance. Yeah. And the ballet that happened in the Italian Renaissance is very, very, very different from the ballet that we see today. Definitely like France is sort of where ballet took the form that we recognize it in now. But it originally started in Italy. Great. All right. Give yourself a check mark if you got that right. Last question. What step means step of the cat? It's Padasha. I Yeah, we all love Padasha. This is a good one. Okay, and bonus point if you can do a Padasha. Go ahead, you do it first. Did you do it? Padasha goes like this. Padasha. Step of the meow meow cat. All right, so you could have a total of seven... Eight, nine, there's nine possible points. How about, well, let's say 10. If you did the Padasha, if you, so if you, if you knew, if you wrote down Padasha, give yourself one check mark. If you also did a correct Padasha, give yourself two check marks. So there's a total of 10 check marks that you could possibly get. Count up your check marks and see how many you got out of 10. And that's your score. Ballet trivia, how'd you do? If we were doing ballet trivia together, I would for sure want you guys on my team. You guys are good at that stuff. All right, friends, I hope you had fun with this little trivia game today. I had fun. I thought it was a nice, it'd be a nice way to end our, um, our last class of the year. Oh, and this is it. My dancers, you did it. You did a whole year of ballet. I have just been so, so, so overjoyed to get to know you and to spend time with you every Wednesday this year. Um, whether that's been in person or over this computer screen, um, I'm just so, so, so proud of you. And I've had so much fun dancing with you and joking with you and being goofy with you and learning with you. So I'm very proud of you. I hope you all have beautiful, safe and happy and healthy summers. And I hope that I will see you very, very soon. Mwah! I love you. Thank you for being my students. Wonderful work to Vera, to Zoe, to Etta. You are wonderful, wonderful dancers, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.